gonna let y'all in on a little secret. This entire set was designed to be our very own little she shit. Yes. See, don't you see? Don't you see the little touches? It's all she shit. It's all she shit. It's all she shit. It's all she shit. It's shitty and it's just she like. And that's what we really want to know. Is this just a way to escape from people or your significant other? Yes! Oh, okay. Yes! <laughs> I thought maybe you want to think about it oh, for a minute. Oh, no! Everybody needs, you need a man cave or a she shed, a, a uh, non-binary bedroom. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Yes! It's absolutely. You know, I think of my whole apartment as my she shed. Mm -hmm. Like, for me, that's why when I, it's all about, you know, you've been, like, it's yeah. all about me. Yes. So, like, every room I have, like, lotion, water, Kleenex, all the things I need. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. that I don't have to leave the, and go get them. They're right there. Yeah. Well, I always. Have, I've always had a meditation room in my house. I've had, I have had a dressing room in my home. Can we talk about the office? Because I don't know what goes on in the office. Well, like, well, you know, the door's always closed. I know. The, the office is the place, it's, no, it's like Middle Earth. <laughs> it really is. That's is that where perfect. you throw things when you don't want to clean? <laughs> I have done that in the past, but right now it has to trend You've lived now. there for almost 20 years. For 18 years. years. And I've, I don't know if I've ever been in the office. No. You can't I really don't office. know what's going on in there. Because it's my shed, it's my she shed, but it's an office, exactly. all right? Well, we went through the neighborhood and asked if husbands and wives should have their own private spaces in the house, and this is what they said. Take a look. It just depends, you know, if you've got a man cave and there's like a queen size bed and mirrors on the wall and, you know, then that might be a problem. But, you know, sometimes the old lady, she wants you out of the house. Get him out of the house. Go drink your beer in the garage with your buddies. Man cave, yes. Bedroom, no. I think you should share a bed. Yes, you want to get rid of them. Yes. For the male, you want them gone. Everybody needs some free time. Yes! Wow, Everybody needs consensus. some free time here. <laughs> well, joining us is a man who could be considered the master of the man cave. Author and man cave enthusiast, Mike Yost. Welcome, Mike! Hi, Mike! Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. All right. Well, let's ask this first question. Do men need man caves? Well, I don't think men necessarily need a man cave. Um, man caves have kind of evolved over time. They like started out as a place where guys could just hang out with their friends. Mm -hmm. And they've kind of evolved into a socialized location for friends and family. Yeah, oh, like yeah, yeah. Clubhouse. Now, I see as one of your laws is that man caves will never have flowers. What's up with that, Mike? Well, that's a fact. Uh, the only flower that should be in the man cave is a blooming cactus, and that's about as far as we're going to let it go. No, no wow. gladiolas, no sunflowers, no birds of paradise. Those are all masculine flowers. What if it's a really mean-looking rose? Yeah. It yeah, not in the man cave. Okay, okay. <laughs> no to no. flowers. No. Well, do you agree that women should have she sheds? Oh, absolutely. Uh, she sheds are really starting to take off. And, uh, I mean, everybody kind of needs some space to kind of socialize and have a good time. That's true. Um, and so the ladies are getting on board with that as well. And uh, my wife's actually starting a website that's kind of focused on that as well. All right. Mm. Now, here's my question. Uh, one of your laws is women are allowed in only by invitation, like a vampire. They gotta ask for permission to come in. <laughs> Do women just hover outside of your man cave like yeah. this? <laughs> like waiting? Well, you see me, I don't have a lot of gals outside my man cave. I don't believe you, Mike. I don't believe it, I don't Mike. believe you, Mike. I don't believe it at all. <laughs> what I'm seeing is working. Yes, yes. <laughs> a lot of these man caves were done in jest and for fun, so. Um, I like obviously, it when they go far. La ladies are always invited. Oh, see? That's nice. I like that. I like that. And you know what? Here's my question. Do you think by having a man cave, does that bring your wife and you closer? You know, that you have your own space mm -hmm. inside the home where you don't have to go to, say, a bar or over to somebody else's house? Well, what we have found out over time is that the man cave has become like the socialized location for the family. Mm -hmm. So instead of having friends uh, over at the house messing up the house, you can kind of centralize the mess to one location. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just been really a lot of fun. Thank you, Mike Yost, for sharing your man cave yeah. with us. Yeah. We appreciate it. In fact, we're so deep into that man cave that we actually have some problems. I think it might be coated in lead. Yeah, yeah, the electricity was all it's off like in there. magnetic it's, it's rays. deep down into the earth. He's, okay. He's got, he's got one of them, the, those things that block signals. Yes, <laughs> yes. That kind of technology. Me Time with Frangela. 